Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. So I'm just here with Rude Doctor. Um, Rude, what exactly is your role um, with the FEI? Uh, it's obviously in regards to the underage setup, but specifically, what is it you do and what is it Stephen will bring to the international setup? Yeah, in, in a broader perspective, uh, I'm the high performance director, so what does that mean? I'm overseeing the international teams on the men's and the boys, and coach education and uh, player development. So those are the three areas. Um, so the international teams, what does it mean? You know, you oversee. That, that means we're trying to have a similar line between all the teams to develop players. So basically what I do, you know, you bring managers in, you sit down with them, you have, you know, you sit down and you discuss how we want to going to play, what are the principles of play in attacking, defending, transitions, etc. So we have regular meetings, we bring them in. Uh, at that time, in the meetings, the coaches that report on the matches, we have discussions, what's going on, you know, talk about opponents. I go to the matches, we'll discuss. And that's something uh, that's a big role, obviously, because it's impossible for me to be everywhere. So that's why the idea came, you know, a point in the 21 manager also have a role in, in the under eight setup to assist me as well. So it's Stephen will provide assistance and support to the managers. So he won't be on the bench, he won't be in dressing rooms, you know, it's just the same role, observing matches, providing them assistance and support, and all from the view of having a collective responsibility of player development to produce players for the first team. That's what it's all about. And I'm, I'm really delighted that... So I'm now more involved with the first team as well. Uh, before, a bit less, although Martin came in our meetings as well, so we started that process already. But I'm, I'm delighted to see now that, that, that actually all the teams, there's a real connection and there's a real buy-in from everyone, from the top to the 15th to the Emerging Talent Program with Niall Harrison, that we all work with the same hymn sheet, the same template. So that's important. And of course, you know, you can't be rigid and say, you know, we have to do it like this, that doesn't work. But we need to have principles of what do we do on and off the pitch. And that's, that's, that's what's happening. And that's my role to actually oversee that and to keep everybody, you know, on the table, off at the table and, and discuss. Yeah, we seem to be doing quite well across all age groups, obviously, since you took a charge. Are you happy with the way things are going? And do you see continuously progressing now? Oh, definitely. And, and it's a great credit to the coaches. I'm not on the pitch. You know, I'm just facilitating. And uh, the coaches do fantastic work, um, and they all work really uh, in, in a collaboration, so to, to bring players through the ranks. Um, yes, and we had some, some great results, so the international matches are always a test, a, a, a benchmark, where are we? I always tell, we, we want to play the best teams in the world, or in Europe, because that tells you where you are. So I'm not afraid of, being lose, of losing matches, but see where you are. And so um, we actually consistently, consistently qualify for the elite stages in, in Europe since, since almost nine, ten years. We only missed in ten years, uh, I think, three campaigns with the 17s, 19s, with the women's and the, and the boys and, and, and the men. So that's, 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 that brings us actually in the top 20 of Europe, you know, that we are consistently qualify for that. And that's, that's an achievement that shouldn't be taken lightly. Uh, Tom finished recent, uh, recently with the 19th uh, uh, number one in the group, with, with the tough group, with, with Holland in there. Um, they did brilliant. Uh, 17th, of course, we know that in, in the finals, qualified three times already for the finals. And not just there, but also really you know, show that we're able to compete. And uh, 18th, they had a friendly with, with Belgium. Uh, uh, and, and the Netherlands and, and, and the Czech. So uh, they did really well again. So that tells us that we have good players and we want to bring them on to the, to the next step, next level. Yeah. And just lastly, um, it's obviously known that Robbie Keane is going to be helping out with Mick McCarthy, but he did allude to the fact that he will be helping out Stephen Kenny. Do you know anything about that? Well, Robbie is... Or what his role will be? Yeah, no, Robbie is, uh, of course, in the, with the senior team, but also Robbie will be involved in, let's say, in going to all the underage matches. So the visibility going to the national leagues, 13s, 15s, 17s, 19s, and that's a part of, of the collective approach as well. So there's not simple entities, everybody feels responsibility. It's great to have somebody like Robbie, who's living in Ireland and who has that interest in young players. That's a great boost for, for everyone to have him around. And uh, so it's not about egos, it's about working collaborative together. And that's. That's needed. We are a small population, but I would say for any country that's needed. And that's what you see in other countries as well, because I do a high performance strategy 
research currently what is good for us, you know, what is done in other countries. So I do a benchmark and um, that gives you detail of what's happening and, and countries now collaborate because they all understand we need to have one vision for everyone. One vision, one goal, one team. I'm, I'm actually myself, uh, as a fan, I'm really excited for the vision and I just want to say keep up the good work and thanks for your time. Thank you very much.